This is absolutely crazy. No need to worry about any Ethernet cables or poor Wi-Fi connection anymore. Uh, we got a Netgear Powerline adapter, one gigabit of speed. It's a very simple plug and use device for extending your network connection uh, in, over your entire house. Well, I ordered this online from a website called Argos. It's an online platform here in the UK where you can buy uh, products like these and they also have their own store uh, where you can order online but then later click and collect from there. Well, well the price of this product is £49.99. It's almost like £50 and uh, I hope that we get a very good internet connection uh, by using this. So let's get started and unbox this power line adapter from Netgear. pretty much very simple over here one of the devices is plugged in with the router and the other device is whichever uh, media consumption device you want to use like TV or PS4 or maybe any any other gaming console or your even your laptop so that's it you can also get a similar version of this adapter in a cheaper price uh, if you go for the device which does not have this extending um, output uh, well I chose this one because it was I think uh, just a five pounds of difference uh, between either you go for the one which does not have a output uh, plug versus the one which has so I think it's it's a good idea to be on the safer side by having these things just in case if you need some additional um, additional plugs uh, well, now that we have seen the package contents of uh, this Netgear Powerline adapter, uh, let's get started how we can connect it to our home network and we will quickly test our speed as well. So I've got my first device here and uh, I'm going to connect this device to my uh, router. It's a broadband router from uh, Virgin Media. So all I have to do is I'll have to connect my Ethernet cable here and connect this one to one of the output port of this router well you can see there is a lot of messed up wires but uh, that's what we are trying to do we're trying to get rid of all the wires and stuff and make a very clean setup so as you can see that i have plugged my first adapter to the power cord here and it's been connected through an ethernet cable to my router over here so it's in one of the output port, uh, the RJ45 cable and um, I know it's a very bad idea to connect this, uh, uh, connect this adapter to a power cable. Uh, this is just for the demonstration but in actual reality what I will be doing is I will be connecting this router to a hub, to a switch and from there I have a connection just near to the power socket to the wall. So now I'm going to connect this other end of the device to this wall socket over here. Um, you can see this, there are three uh, power indicators over here. The first one is for the power. The second one is uh, indicating that the other device is also connected. And the third one is saying that the internet is also connected. So it's pretty straightforward and it's very quick as well. Uh, you can see that I just plugged it in and it uh, turned into green so the internet connection is here through power sockets so this wire goes to my PlayStation which is set up on my desk right now and I will also show you uh, how good is the internet connection so you can see it's uh, it's not it's not like very good 
uh, my usual internet connection here is 300 mbps uh, but uh, the good thing about it is it does not drop like the wireless connection and it's very stable so let's try to see how it works using a presentation slide in a typical situation like this where you have uh, a two-storied house and your internet connection is on the ground floor your especially your router is on the ground floor which is connected via a broadband wire and sadly you have your um, you have your setup computer setup on the first floor uh, the best place to use a power line adapter is in this kind of setup where you can use your wall sockets um, in order to transfer internet connection um, so here you will normally use the one of the adapter in your ground floor just next to your router and connect it with a network cable which is then a wall socket is connected by an electricity cable already in your house and all you need to do is put uh, the other side of the adapter on it and then connect it to your internet to your computer setup and uh, it's it's easy as that